Rock City Networks and the Push coming to you from uh, Face the Music 2010 here at the Arts Centre in Melbourne. And uh, joining me, Andy Stewart from Audio Technology Magazine. How are you, mate? I'm good. I'm good. Is you, uh, how, how, have you been able to see much so far? I know it's early in the day and it's day one. but uh, um, yeah. I, actually, I actually haven't seen anything. No, no. <laughs> I've just been on that panel and uh, now I'm here. Yeah, so. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, uh, for, every, for everyone out there that's not familiar with Audio Technology Magazine, can you take us through uh, exactly what it is what and it? what it's about? Yeah. Um, well, pro audio technology is like a sort of a, effectively a boutique pro audio magazine. So it deals with um, you know productions of albums and live gigs and you know film mixing and kind of the other side of the glass, as it were. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of all about the technical, not completely, but mostly about the technical processes yeah. behind all the albums that people make and films that people go and see. So you're really getting into the specifics of sound engineering, yeah. as, as, it, as, it, as it were? Yep. Yeah, can you, uh, specific examples, any, any projects you've been working on recently that you can sort of uh, um, put into play? In terms of the magazine? Yeah. Um, well, in terms of the magazine, I've just been to Green Day's studio last week, so yeah. I've been talking to Chris, who's their engineer, about how he works with them. Yeah. So from a magazine point of view, you know, I'm doing what you do sure. here. Yeah. And I interview him, and we talk about how you know they make their record, and that's the uh, that's the kind of article that I'll write in the magazine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, get, getting in, I guess, when you go and talk to engineers like that, uh, how wide and varied is the creativity with with these engineers and and what they do, and and do they, uh, you know, what's the process they go through to actually maybe find something at a different point of view or find a new way to approach what they're doing? Well. It, it depends on the genre a bit. I hate using that word, but uh, I think in terms of uh, it's more a kind of a producer's role what you're getting at there in terms of you know creating different sounds, etc. I mean, engineers, the producer engineer is kind of a bit of a blurred thing anyway. It's, you know, most most are both, um, but I think you know it, it does vary. Some people are into all kinds of fancy tricks, you know, digitally, yeah. whereas other people are more interested in you know working hard to make the artist shine so actually get them to just play really well and then the engineer really does very little in terms of of manipulating sound they just kind of represent sound with mics like you're doing now yeah they don't sort of get that recording and turn it upside down like green day last week chris has spent most of his time talking about how he does very little and that actually what makes the band sound great is that they're great players and they have fantastic instruments yeah. and that's their sound and it just makes the job easier for, for him in, in yeah, general absolutely yeah, yeah. Uh, interviews you've got coming up for for, for the magazine who, who have you got coming up of, of note that uh, we can look forward to uh, well, reading about that's probably the next one um, yeah so I don't I never work too far ahead yeah. I, I usually kind of you know step from one thing to the next never really knowing where the next things you know, going to leave me. I'm so. glad. I'm glad there's someone else in that club. I really am because uh, it's all, it's an interesting. All good way. magazines like that. It's all good a, magazines. They don't have a six month lead yeah, time. It's, yeah. just it's an interesting idea too. I mean, I guess it's it's more about. I would imagine it's meeting people at things like this and saying, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. L let's come down and have a chat, or we'll we'll feature you in in the magazine, or you know, yeah, yeah, that, that sort of stuff. Yeah. I think the um, I think like audio technology is fundamentally about a big community of people that I know who all write for the magazine and they might kind of, they'll ring me and they'll have a really interesting idea or know of someone who's, you know, a fascinating topic and I'll just always sort of go, yeah, go for it, you know. Yeah. There's no kind of, you know, small inner sanctum and, you, you know, everyone else is unwelcome. It's actually, audio technology is really good because it's got a really big community of writers and they're all professional people and they're all kind of involved in whether it's film or music or whatever, they're, they're all heavily involved in their careers in those jobs and yeah. they sort of write for the magazine as a secondary thing. So niche so, specific to a degree yeah. and, and you kind of get just them to write on the subject. Yeah, but and we also write lots of, and me and a lot of other people, we write a lot of tutorials on, you know, how to go about certain things, yeah. you know, like whatever it would be, you know, we'll have a tutorial on, you know, mixing or, or you know, all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, no. Now, I'm, I'm interested to know uh, exactly what you yourself take away from an event like this. I mean, because obviously you give a lot of advice out. People walk away with a lot of uh, ideas and, and, and things that they can work on through, through your advice and experience. What do you take from something like this, like a Face the Music conference? Uh, I think it's interesting to constantly be reminded that actually 
you know, there's no there's no rules in in any of this process. It's not like learning to be a, an accountant. You know, there's not sort of you know you add up these numbers and you get this number and it's either it's right or it's wrong. There's a it's a it's an artistic environment. So there are no real as much as you try and establish rules, you then have to smash them all and start again. And so it's a tricky art form because it's it really involves both sides of your brain kind of in this in this you know creating this sort of balance between knowing what's right like being absolutely certain of something but but also knowing that fundamentally you know it's a subjective opinion mm -hmm. so it's very hard to sort of balance that those things up because the next band who you think kind of might suck might suddenly appeal to 10 million people and you don't really know why and you don't really expect that that will happen but it does yeah so you know, there are, I know there are basic criteria, though, when I listen to records, you know, hundreds and hundreds of albums over the years, <clears throat> that all the good ones, they, they're, they're separate from the pack. You know, if I get, say, you know, 100 CDs, there'll be one that sticks out. And so, like I was advising, you know, on the panel just then, I think with music particularly, bands have to, you know, understand that they need to work on their differences, not... not on their similarities, you know, oh, well, I really want to be like Nickelback. It's like, no, you don't. You actually want to be like you. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's very, you know, it's, it's simplistic to sort of say that, but that is the pursuit, is actually exposing and, and exploring and discovering yourself. Because if, if you don't, then all the marketing people in the world, they've got nothing to market. So you go nowhere. You've got to have something to market. And, and you don't just sort of go... You don't just do bugger all and then take that, you know, half-assed work to someone and expect success. You've got to have been successful in and of your in and of yourself first. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, it's sound advice. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I actually didn't mean it like that, no, but no, uh, sure. but uh, no, it's uh, and it's it's great to see people like yourself and as before Michael Parisi and Patrick Donovan and and, and pe people that have forged their way through this industry. Uh, coming back and giving the kids some great advice and some great yeah. help and, and hopefully nurturing, uh, nurturing stars of the future. It's, uh, sure. it's really good to see. Um, and, and thank you so much for your time, Andy. It's Pleasure. been great. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend. Yep, I will. And, uh, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Cheers. And uh, we'll put the information up there if you, want to, uh, if you want to get to the link for Audio Technology Magazine. And uh, keep punching out the good work, mate, and we'll keep following. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. It's, uh, it's Rock City Networks here with the push for Face the Music 2010.